Zen's Moon Challenge? Now, if you haven't seen my previous video, there is a bug on K1 Revelations that lets you leave the Lost Sector completely. This lets you then go and complete any Lost Sector on the Moon with the Legend difficulty. However, you are locked to only three lives as champions do not give you any additional lives. If you die with zero lives, you become soft locked, meaning that you will need to restart your game and at that point you have failed the challenge. With these conditions, Zen's Moon Challenge is born. Moon Lost Sectors are some of the hardest to beat in Destiny 2. Can we complete this challenge? Let's find out together. What's good guys, it's Zen, and if you know me, you know I'm not going to waste your time with these videos, so let's hop right into the challenge! Alright, so to get started, we have to spawn in K1 Revelations, and then we just literally walk outside of it. This is so hilarious, and... <laughs> I don't know what kind of oversight that was, but, you know, we take those. So, from there, we just have to travel to the first Lost Sector. Now, this is really interesting because I have no idea where the Lost Sectors are, so I had to keep referring to my map. And also, there are so many craters, so many places that you can die on the moon. So, if, if I die traversing around, it's over. I lose a life, you know? So, that was a really interesting part of this. Now... What I'm not going to do is I'm not going to have any skips in this so that you can see I did it all in one run. But I will have timestamps for when the individual Lost Sectors start so that you can skip around if you want to. You know, I want the legitimacy to be there. You know, I don't want anyone to be able to say anything about, oh, you you died and you skipped, blah, 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 blah. All right, so we are going to start with K1 Communion. Now, this is a really easy one. So first thing we're going to do is plop our Rift down. Now, I am using an Arc build that is absolutely disgusting. I mean, the fact that I could have used Invis Hunter, I could have used, you know, Void Titan, but I chose Arc Warlock because of its damage output. Now, you will see, I ran through four Lost Sectors, and one of the challenges with this is, you know, I, I, I don't get new ammo when I spawn in a new Lost Sector. When I tell you I didn't run out of Special or Heavy, I mean it. I literally had Special and Heavy the entire time. Now, with this build, I get a 17% damage bonus to Arc Weapons. Additionally, when I'm standing in my rift and I get kills, my rift's duration increases. You see I have blood magic on the left there. What that does is it pauses the duration of my rift, and I can literally do that infinitely. And you know there's all these artifact mods for Ark this season. This build is just absolutely disgusting, and I do have a video for it. I'll throw that in the description. So as you can see, we ran through that first room really, really easily. Now what I'm doing in this lost sector is I'm playing very fast. I'm not trying to be safe. I'll play safe later because I have three lives, right? And the thing about it is after 15 minutes, I have no more lives, period. So I want to, you know, play fast while I still can. Maybe get in the second lost sector before the 15 minutes are up. I, I don't know why I'm saying maybe. Uh, typically, there's, there's no way it takes longer than 10 minutes. Now, keep in mind, I am 15 levels under power, but even still, you know, probably like six eight minutes max uh for each lost sector but yeah this this was so interesting to do man uh because one of the things about it is you know what plays into that 15 minute timer there is the fact that i have to traverse and i don't know where the lost sectors are you know i did this at reset because i wanted to be the first one to get it done uh <laughs> i didn't spend any time studying where the lost sectors are so this isn't optimal in any way you know, I didn't optimize it. I'm not trying to speed run. I'm just trying to complete the challenge here. So you see, we are just absolutely shredding through everything. We still have the barrier up. We got to take care of those snipers in the back. That's what we're going to try to do, at least. And these guys are absolutely pushing us. I'm going to throw my flashbang down. Speaking of the flashbang, uh, the reason I'm running the flashbang is because three of these lost sectors are overload barrier, but one of them has unstoppables. And, you know, I, I obviously can't run all three champion mods so the last lost sector k1 revelations i'm gonna stun all the unstoppables with just my grenades so that's gonna be interesting we're gonna have to see how that works out but yeah we absolutely shred through this uh the second room we're gonna have to pick up some ammo and then we could just proceed forward i throw the flashbang preemptively because i know that there's these two little marauders sitting there with their shotguns throw the rift down because the overload is gonna push in this guy's gonna get absolutely fried by my trace rifle because this build is broken. Again, you need to watch the build video. Honestly, you should probably watch that before this. But yeah, we're just shredding through him. We also have the turrets absolutely destroying everything. And yeah, that guy's dead really fast. Throw another flashbang. They come up really fast. I think they actually have the fastest grenade cooldown for arcs. That's kind of nice. We often have our grenade up. 
it's not as good as you know arc bolt or pulse grenade but you know we definitely take those we definitely take those it's gonna do some damage there's still an ad behind me but he is blinded again because this build is so good <laughs> it on top of all that damage i was talking about it also just has like infinite blind which is fantastic now thankfully we were able to stun this champion one thing about this lost sector is sometimes this champion will just run to the back of the room which is absolutely terrible and completely changes the pacing of the lost sector because he'll be surrounded by ads but we were able to isolate him fight him 1v1 which was pretty nice uh we're just gonna clear these guys out one dude at a time then we're gonna push right side and there's gonna be a bunch of ads see they th there's there's so many ads that they actually do quite a bit of damage so you need to be kind of careful here but again, I'm not really trying to be careful. I'm trying to just do this as fast as possible. Got one little straggler on the left side. He tries to be invis, but we clearly see those. Gonna grab some ammo. Uh, but basically what we're doing right now is we're gonna clear out all these ads, and then the boss is gonna spawn in the back. So as you can see, they're doing all this damage, but it doesn't matter because I'm just sitting in a rift. And on top of that, I have 25% damage resist from being amplified. Gonna have to take care of those snipers. Those snipers do a ton of damage. Now, after we clear this last ad, the boss is gonna spawn. And I believe I'm gonna just blow my load on him, just send out my super. I feel like that is the play, but I might end up doing some heavy damage. Yeah, we are absolutely shredding him. Now, keep in mind, I am, again, doing this 20 levels under power. I'm saying again, I don't know if I've said that yet. I have said so many words so far. We're going to pop our super here. Uh, it's not going to do a ton of damage because we did. He did teleport, unfortunately, so we missed about half of the damage we could have done there. But, you know, it's not bad. Going to grab some heavy. Like, like this is what I'm talking about. We just always have ammo. I mean, this build is reliant on special and heavy ammo, but we just always have it. I literally ran four lost sectors and never ran it. Never ran out, you know? So we're just going to shred him. Uh, this Okay, that was really weird. <laughs> That really sent me into a panic. He just <laughs> spawns behind me. Uh, that happens a few times, actually. But we were able to make do just then. I'm gonna have to kill the Servitor, because one thing about the Servitor is sometimes he will make the boss immune, so we're gonna have to shred him as fast as possible. We get him. Now, there are several snipers we're gonna want to watch out for. Also, there's so many adds in this Lost Sector, they do quite a bit of damage. But, you know, we have our Rift, and we have plenty of cover. Uh, it's, it's pretty interesting how this boss does rotate around, so you need to constantly pay attention to where he is. And at that point, the boss was feeling a little depressed, you know, he just headed out of there, but... <laughs> unfortunately, he just respawns. Now you see, we are absolutely surrounded, and I am so terrified at this point because there's snipers, there's shotguns. I am so lucky that I noticed that when I did, because if I stayed there a second longer, I would have been fried. Dude, my heart was racing at this point. Uh, yeah, there's just lots of ads in the back. We're gonna have to pop our rift. Now you see, we are so far away. We haven't gotten hit by a sniper, but we were just 1 HP. It's just, I don't know. Those guys have like mega super chaperone, man. They just, <laughs> the little shotguns have crazy range. The solar shotguns on the fallen opponents. But I'm sure you can see by now that we are just gonna clear through this lost sector. There's not really much that can stop us at this point. There's no more secret respawns and the boss goes down. Now one thing we're going to have to look out for is, we can't just grab the chest and not care, we can't, we can't die, right? We're going to lose our lives. So, at this point, I believe, yeah, I'm going to try to clear these ads out, because I was going to try to exit through that door, but unfortunately that door does not open. I don't actually, I know there's a fast way to get out of Lost Sectors, but I don't believe that that works in Legend Lost Sectors. Not too sure. But yeah, man, we rolled through the first one pretty damn easily, so now we are going to proceed to the next Lost Sector. And I'm going to speed it up. I'm not going to have any jump cuts again, because I want you guys to see that all this was done in one run. So let's head to the second one. All right, and we are here, K1 Crew Quarters. Now this one is not so bad. There's only one section that I am particularly worried about. So we're just gonna clear out these ads and then what's gonna happen is an overload is gonna spawn and there's also some shanks that are gonna spawn in the back. I believe they're actually already here. One thing that's interesting about the shanks is in a true legend lost sector, they have solar shields, but in this one they don't. 
I think that's really interesting because I believe what's going on there is this doesn't have the modifier. Uh, I believe those solar shields actually come from a challenge modifier, but obviously the modifier isn't present here. We're doing this off K1 revelation modifiers. I just thought that was really interesting. But with that in mind, I believe that means that fallen enemies are going to be just spamming grenades. I believe that's one of the modifiers. Um, so we're going to have to be careful of that. I did notice that throughout this entire run, I, I was having so many damn grenades thrown at me. We throw the grenade preemptively because I knew those exploder shanks were, were there. Again, I make daily lost sector guides, so uh, it's not like we're running in this blind. I do kind of know what to do to stay alive. Now keep in mind, at this point we are still trying to speed run because we still have lives and we only have two minutes before our lives expire. Now what's about to happen is a barrier is going to come from the right side and we're going to want to fry him because if we let him proceed too far, he just makes all of the ads nearby immune and it just becomes so annoying. So you see I completely ignore that ad and I just start frying this barrier and I'm able to actually stun him over there and he is worth popping the super dude. Because this section of the Lost Sector is so annoying if you don't melt him right there. So annoying. Even harder than the boss. But we actually make quick work of him. This is actually the first time I was able to do that. Which I think is pretty cool. So we're just going to clear out these ads. And actually the next section can be a little shaky as well. Because there are like... Um, not like. There are literally four different snipers all posted up at different angles. Thankfully I do know where all of them are. So they're not going to catch us off guard or anything, but we're just going to have to play very careful. And I think at this point in time, I'm just looking for some ammo. You see my ammo reserves are getting kind of low. Darkness encroaching in 30 seconds. I have 30 seconds and then I don't have any lives, but you know what? Like, I need the ammo. It's definitely worth it. The machine gun particularly gives us some crazy range, so we definitely need some ammo for that. I'm going to kill this ad in the back because I really don't want anything sneaking up on me. You know, we're going we're gonna to have to play safe from this point on. Obviously, we are running out of lives in four seconds. So, there you go. You see the sniper. We are now currently out of lives. No lives left. We're going to take care of the sniper. We're going to beam him. That's one out of four snipers down. Now, where I'm looking right now, that's where the next snipers are going to spawn. There are going to be some shanks. That dude on the left is a sniper. This guy that I'm shooting right now, this vandal. I'm going to take care of him. I believe all vandals are snipers, actually. Um, take care of that drag. Now... That overload in the back does some crazy damage. Like, you see that. You see how how much range he has and how much damage that did. And the, the thing about it is, those are Osteo trigger rounds. Like, they just track you, bro. So, we're going to have to be very careful of him. You see me just, you know, I'm taking my time here. I really don't want to wipe because, again, I wanted to get this video out first. You know, I, I dropped the information about the bug and I told everyone that I was going to do a challenge. And, you know, YouTubers were, were kind of ravenous, bro. We always want to be the first ones to post something. So, I wanted to be the first one to complete the Moon Lost Sector Challenge, Zen's Moon Challenge, whatever I call it. <laughs> um, so I was playing very safe. So we're able to actually stun him, so at this point we're going to proceed forward because we, ha we have him stun locked at this point, so you know I really want to finish him out while I have the opportunity because if, if I let him just sit there and get all his health back, you know it's going to be trouble because like I said, this guy just does some crazy damage and we are actually able to clean him up. Now I believe there's still one more sniper on the right side there. You see I'm playing so careful around this sniper. I'm not peeking him at all until I'm ready to deal with him. Now I think we have two or three more adds. Yeah, maybe just two that we have to take care of. And that's the hardest part of this Lost Sector done. At this point I'm feeling super confident so we're just going to proceed forward. Got a ton of special there. Not that we needed it. But you know I will grab that on the way out. So. I don't believe I played with that in mind, but I sh definitely should have. I definitely should have used more special. Uh, I don't actually, uh, I don't actually know entirely what I do. So we're gonna take care of this barrier. Thankfully, he's not hiding on the left side. Sometimes he'll do that. Sometimes he'll go all the way far back, or he'll go left side to the point where you can't do any damage to him. And I could pop my super, but honestly, this barrier isn't too much trouble at all. It does make some snipers immune, but I'm not really worried about them. You know, I can just—I have plenty of cover. And I actually already killed the snipers. I'm sure I was more aware of that when I was in the game. Again, I was just so focused while I was doing this. Man, I am just talking so much. Like, the fact that... <laughs> I feel like I'm going to be able to talk for this entire commentary. I might not even have any uh, speed ups. That's what I do in my Lost Sectors. I just speed up uh, when I end up not talking. But I don't know. I just feel like I have a lot to say today. So we're going to proceed forward here. I'm going to actually pop my rift. 
And what that's going to do is it's going to obviously give us that damage boost. We have the boss in the back, just a big gigantic shank. Now one thing about shanks are they're, they are very weak, <laughs> so this boss just does no damage. Uh, he does obviously have a lot of health though, so we're going to have to watch out for him. Now when we get this bot to its this boss, when we get this boss to its damage gate, a barrier champion is actually going to spawn. It just did, actually. And what the barrier champion will then do is make the boss immune. That is why I'm not popping my super, because if I pop my super and that boss goes immune, there's going to be trouble. Then these guys are going to push you, and I'm already aware that they're going to push me. That's why you see me sliding like that, because I wasn't sure if they were behind me or not. But yeah, we're just definitely going to have to be careful of those dudes that push us, and I'm completely aware of that, so we're just going to watch out for that. We actually caught the barrier. We got very lucky with barriers so far in these runs. They are just sitting in front of us. They're not teleporting around. Now that the barrier is dead, we are able to blow our load into the boss. We are just hitting him with that chaos reach. You can't really do much about it. Now we are being pushed by ads again. So you see me, I'm just paying attention. I know I'm, I'm completely aware of what's going on. Looking to the right just to make sure. But <laughs> you, you see my arc soul pick up a kill by himself, literally carrying the run. And that is the second boss. Now we're just going to clear this room out because again, when we can't just ape the chest and not care if we die like we would in a typical Lost Sector. We need to make sure we don't die because if we do, it's over. <laughs> it's over. We have no lives anymore. Uh, but yeah, that is this Lost Sector. That's two Lost Sectors done. Let's see what we can do in the third one. Alright, so we are starting in K1 Logistics. Now, honestly, this one is a bit difficult. There are several points where you need to jump out of cover. I probably should have done this one first. I probably should have done this one with my lives. But again, I I didn't know where it was. You know what I mean? I, I don't know where the Lost Sectors are on the map. I was getting a little frustrated, so I was like, you know what? I'm just going to start with this one that's right in my face. So, this first section, I would say, is... Either the most or the second most difficult part. Honestly, the boss room is kind of difficult because there are several snipers and they are made immune by the barrier, so we can't exactly peek them. Uh, so we're just going to have to be careful. I'm clearing out as many ads as I can. It does two things. Obviously, I'm not taking damage, but it also extends the duration of my rift because this build is insane and you should check that video out. Um, <laughs> So we're just going to have to be careful when we peek, because again, he is making two snipers immune. But we got him right there. Seems like he's low enough for the shield to come up. I was playing super risky here. You see, I'm taking some crazy damage. So I'm just going to pop my super, because I am worried about this guy. And I believe I actually killed both snipers with my Chaos Reach. You know, a little bit of collateral there. You know, I'm kind of cracked. Uh, and then it's just one drag left. I'm not worried about this guy, so I'm going to push up forward. Now, this next section, there are going to be... It's going to be a barrier, an overload, and a bunch of shanks, okay? So we're going to have to watch out for those shanks. If those guys blow us up, you already know what happens. It's over. We need to restart, okay? So I'm just being careful because I wasn't sure if the shanks were going to push me. We also have uh, not just exploder shanks, but some snipers. Uh, I didn't mention that, but I was aware of it. You see, I'm playing around it. Now, I wasn't actually sure if the exploder shanks would spawn yet. That's kind of why I'm playing back here. But I now know that they don't spawn until you move forward. Okay, so you just see, you see them now. You see them coming right side. They're also coming left side. Now I just I just play back here because I don't want to be snuck up on. If I get snuck up on, it's over. So I am just taking my time here. Uh, I believe that's all of them, but I myself wasn't sure at the time. Now that guy is a sniper. That is a vandal. So we're gonna have to be careful of him. I throw. Both of my abilities, but he's still alive, but he is blinded by... Oh, it's actually two Vandals. He is actually blinded by my nade there, so we are good. Uh, at this point, I'm just going to melt this barrier. Now, you, you see what I'm talking about with them just spamming the nades. That guy was going to spam... 
a nade himself, but uh, I, I actually noticed it, so I was able to focus him down. And from this point, we just have one more add for this room, and then we have an overload up ahead. And I, I believe, yeah, he does have his own add, but honestly, my Arc Soul would have killed him by himself. But we're just going to absolutely melt him with our Cold Heart. Not anything he can do about this. I'm actually not throwing down my Rift for whatever reason. Maybe because it wasn't charged to begin with, and, you know, I didn't see that it came up again. But yeah, we take care of that guy really easily. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to want to pick up some special. Got that already maxed out. Now you see what I'm talking about. Like, <laughs> we're just absolutely blowing through this with Arc Warlock. Arc? I, I had my choice out of every class in this game, but I'm using Arc Warlock because this build, man, it's just so damn good. Like, I keep repeating myself, but it's just so true. And uh, part of it was also because it's so damn fun. That's part of the reason why I picked it. Um, but it also just gives us that speed because it's so much damage output. Like, you see, we just we killed four adds and an overload champion without worrying at all. But now I am worried because I am blinded, and I know that there's four melee adds in front of me. Thankfully, they were somehow blinded behind the wall, so they weren't pushing me. Uh, we definitely take those. So, now we're in the boss room, and what's going to happen is that barrier, if you don't kill those adds to the right fast enough, he's going to make them immune, and they're super annoying because they fire their little sidearm pistols at you. But uh, we're able to stun him really early. Now you see me, um, I'm aiming down on the adds, but really what I want to be doing is just killing this barrier as fast as possible. Next thing that's going to happen is we're just going to clear out as many adds as we can, and what happens then is the boss is no longer immune. Definitely going to take out those tracer shanks as fast as possible. Don't want to get killed by those snipers at this point in time. Uh, the thing is, I don't exactly know, and I didn't know at the time, how many adds you have to kill before the boss is no longer immune, so I was playing very careful. I didn't really want to leave this position and just start getting beamed by the boss, you know? So... Okay, we got two Vandals there, don't want to get sniped, and you see, you see what I mean? We got, like, I, I feel like we got that guy half HP and the boss was no longer immune, so it's really weird, I don't really know what's going on there, but we're just going to stay here as long as we can, doing as much damage as we can. Now there's one thing about this boss, and it's that he has uh, damage gates where he'll just teleport around, similar to the last boss that we fought, so we're going to have to watch out for that. But at this point, I'm just playing so safe. This is going to be so slow, guys. I might actually speed this up. I might not, because again, I'm just talking so much. Like, I, I'm just commentary crazy right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're just going to have to play safe, because at this point, you know, this is the third one. I don't want to wipe. Now, I, I am noticing here, though, I am running out of ammo. So you'll see what I'm talking about. This boss room is a little bit difficult. I don't I don't want to say it's difficult. It's, it's not difficult. It's just... I have to play risky, I have to go grab ammo as you see, um, but the second I do that, thankfully I have speed booster, I am just going to run right back to where I was, you know, we definitely take those, we are just going to play as safe as possible here, but I can't sit here forever because the boss has cover, he's just sitting there, and you see I have garbage range, I don't have much ammo on my machine gun, so I don't have much range, I just have my trace rifle, so I am going to have to push forward, now, I was a little bit nervous here, but you know, in hindsight, this was the play all along, this isn't really that risky, The I, I have plenty of cover, so we're just going to try to beam down this Nightmare Drag, because if he gives us trouble later, if he's like on top of us or something, because again, you're going to have to rotate around, because the boss does rotate around, if he ends up on top of us, it's not like we can melt him very quickly, uh, we do have our flashbang grenade, but we might not have it up, so he could definitely give us trouble, that's why I'm focusing him down right now, despite him not actually doing that much damage, hopefully that makes sense. Now at this point, you know, I'm going to focus on the boss again, but again, I don't have any heavy ammo. So, you know, I want to conserve it because there's this thing in Destiny 2 where if you run out of ammo and you go and pick up a brick, you actually don't get as much ammo as you would if you, per se, had half ammo and you picked up a brick. Even with a scavenger mod, I believe, I, I do think that's a mechanic. You know, I've played many, many hours of this game. I believe that's how it works, but I don't actually have any math on that. So we're just going to run up, you know, like I said, he's hiding behind cover. Uh, I knew I had my super damage resist, so I was like, you know, screw it, I'm just going to go for it. And it actually did work out. We took very minimal damage here. Now, 
one thing I'm worried about in this position is the position I was standing in just five seconds ago is where the boss is actually going to teleport to. So I was like, oh, huh, maybe I'll do damage here. But then I was like, ah, uh, nah. Thankfully, I, I know you saw it, bro. We have heavy ammo right there. I'm watching out for the nade. I'm completely aware of the heavy ammo. Look at these nades, bro. See, this is what I'm talking about. We have that modifier from K1 Revelations just killing us like crazy right here. You see the boss just teleported behind us. I was waiting for it. I was doing damage, look at behind me, doing damage, look at behind me. I was waiting for it to happen and we were able to actually catch it on time. And we're gonna have to clear out these ads as fast as possible. I am a little stressed out with all those ads in my face, but we have the blind effects. We have the crazy damage from the arc weapon boost with our surge mods, so we are good. We just melt them so quickly. And at this point in time, I'm just gonna melt the boss. You see me looking behind me. That is because sometimes ads will spawn there. Um, not sometimes, they do spawn right behind you. So I was definitely looking out for that. Definitely tr just trying to be careful. I didn't want to lose. Um, so <laughs> we're just gonna have to aim down the boss, do a little bit of damage, look behind us. No, no, we're just gonna move. We're just gonna move. We're not feeling that position, bro. We're not trying to get snuck up on. Now you see me, I just keep looking left side. I don't want to get killed, man. We're 30 minutes deep, you know? If I lose here, we're just... We're gonna be late on the video. Someone else is gonna post it. Honestly, maybe that's a bit of ego. Maybe no one is watching my videos like that to the point where they would try to compete and try to post this challenge, but... You never know. You never know who's gonna see your video, even if it's only a couple thousand views. So... I was just trying to get this done, I wanted to put this out for you guys, and I wanted to be the first to do it. Zen's Moon Challenge, man, I can't let someone else post Zen's Move Challenge before Zen. <laughs> so we just, we're, the boss is so close, we're just trying to kill him, he's so damn close to dead. And he's dead, we got him, easy. Now again, we can't just ape the chest like usual, we need to make sure we're careful, we need to kill these ads, and make sure we don't die here before we grab the chest. And that's all of them, so we're just gonna grab the chest, and at this point, we are on to the final stages, bro. The last Lost Sector. Now, you can't hear my commentary right now, uh, from when I was recording this, because my mouse, or my keyboard, rather, goes crazy when I'm using it. I have a mechanical keyboard. You can't hear me, but my breath is going crazy right now. I just did a deep exhale, because I am so scared of dying at this point. You know, we have to traverse the moon, right? And we have one more Lost Sector, which is arguably, potentially the hardest. Honestly, it, it, it I think it is the hardest. We have that Lost Sector last, K1 Revelations itself. So we're just going to head there right now. And again, you have to remember, we, we have no way of stunning Unstoppables except for our grenades. So it's not going to be easy. You know, if we had a Glaive... Glaive makes, makes Unstoppables so easy to kill because you can just block when they become unstunned. But I obviously can't do that. I don't have a glaive, right? So I'm just going to have to have cover, which, you know, Unstoppables, they move kind of quick and they just do damage from a distance. So, you know, I'm a little nervous about K1 Revelations. We're going to have to play super safe. All right. And I finally managed to find K1 Revelations. And at this point, we are just going to have to clear out this room. And then there's going to be a barrier and then a whole bunch of other stuff. But we'll start with this. We're just clearing these dudes out using our trace rifle. Now you see, we do actually have maximum stacks of trace rifle ammo, and there's a heavy brick on the ground, so we're good. Those guys all get blinded because this build is busted, and you should watch the video. <laughs> um, those guys all get blinded, so we are just able to clear them out really, really easily. These guys are just spamming their damn fireball grenades, again, because of the modifier from this lost sector. We are at the final stages. I'm, I'm going crazy right now. I'm feeling good. I got so worried here because, you know, typically that barrier, if you take a bit too long, which I did intentionally, um, that he'll actually drop down to where he's currently standing, but he was still standing there, so I was like, oh my god, I'm dead here. But, we got him, we got him half HP, so we're just gonna stun him, take care of that guy really, really easily. Now, this next section can actually end our run. Why? Because there is a Shrieker that just does some crazy damage and he was not cooperating with me. Now, what's gonna happen is these Acolytes are gonna spawn out. Typically, I would throw my nade there, but, you know, I wanted to save my nade for the Unstoppables, even though the Unstoppables are <laughs> nowhere near to uh, where I am in the Lost Sector currently. So, yeah, we're just going to have to clear out these ads, and there is a barrier right there, obviously. So we're going to take care of him. If we take too long for that guy, he's actually going to rotate up. So I want to kill him where he is standing right now, because 
if he rotated up there, then I would be dealing with the Barrier and the Shrieker at the same time, which is obviously not optimal. Now, this dude is really cheeky with his cover just then. He was trying to retract from the situation, but I was able to get him. You can't really do much about that. Now, the, when I say the Shrieker wasn't cooperating with me, it's because typically when you stand where I'm standing right now, the Shrieker will have its eye open and it won't shoot at you. But I had to proceed way farther than I usually do to get him to actually open his eyes. So that was really annoying. I actually emote there, I 3 peek. you know, that dude is pissed. If this was Crucible, he would be very upset with me. I have to 3 peek because I have to make sure he's not currently shooting at me. Gonna get some damage off and then we're gonna have to jump back. Now I stayed here a little too long, you see how low I got? You can't, again, you can't hear me right now, but I just exhaled so hard. <laughs> I am so stressed out. We're three peeking, making sure that the Shrieker's eye is closed. It is closed, and at this point, I can just face tank damage and kill him, but I'm not going to want to do that, so I'm just going to jump back completely, make sure we have cover. Actually, I couldn't face tank, not without a rift. I would have died there. Again, the exhale like crazy, because that brought me half HP. That doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're 38 minutes deep in a lost sector, it is a lot. It's very worrying. So what we're going to do here is kill these two Acolytes. Now, there's going to be a whole bunch of adds. So what we're going to do is we're going to run forward because if we stay on that platform, which is an old strategy that I used to use, I used to stay on that platform, but if you do that, they will throw so many grenades at you on top of the knight, boomer, throwing the arc nades, whatever he's using, it, it's, they're nades, they're nades, the arc nades at you, you, you will just die there. You see, I, I just got half HP uh, standing here with, with good cover, so definitely going to want to rotate here. But, you know, we have our rift, so we are definitely good. We're running super low on heavy, but thankfully some heavy just spawned for us. So from this position, we're just going to clear out these acolytes over here, and then what's going to happen is an unstoppable is going to spawn. Now, again, I am super worried for the unstoppables because we don't have a glaive, man. All we have is our flashbang grenades to deal with the unstoppable so I'm actually gonna have to use my super on him but obviously I won't have three supers up for the unstoppable so I am so scared here I made a cheeky play there grabbing that special and the champion has spawned now at this point in time I am definitely just gonna use my super on him that is the safe play it will kill him completely because all of this season there is an arc surge so he's stunned I did a little bit of machine da gun damage to be sure and then I'm just gonna go for it with my chaos reach and it does take him out beautiful if that didn't take him out we were screwed because the closest cover is so far from us again the, the deepest exhale just now man i am so worried about this and we are actually going to switch to our auto rifle for like the first time you know apart from barrier champions because you know i'm worried about this ammo economy i'm worried that i'm going to run out you know we have a lot of trace but we need our heavy ammo for the unstoppables and for the boss really now this next section is going to be the exact same we clear out these acolytes clear out a knight and then an unstoppable is going to spawn and we are going to take care of him now the unstoppable is spawned these two acolytes pull up they are a little cheeky they try to sneak up on you but you know i'm completely aware that they're going to spawn so i was able to take care of them really quickly now at this point i'm playing so safe around this unstoppable you see it's going to take me a while here because i don't want to die to this damn thing not 41 minutes deep okay <laughs> So, actually our trace ended up stunning him, so we're able to get some free damage off just then. But you know, I pulled up a little bit too late, because I honestly, I didn't expect that to happen. I didn't know that the blind from our subclass, from this build that you should totally go watch, <laughs> I didn't know that that actually stuns unstoppables. I knew blind did it, but I didn't know weapon blind did it, if you know what I mean there. Um, so we do have our grenade up, which is fantastic. So I'm just waiting for an opening here. Like I, what I'm trying to do is bait him out into the open so that I can get, you know, full damage on him. I'm trying to just shoot him, be like, hey dude, I'm over here, but this guy is just, I don't know what he's doing. That box over there is just cable television to him. He is just super intrigued. You know, you know what? It's TikTok. This dude cannot stop watching it. He knows he's addicted, but he can't stop. So we blind him, but for some reason he actually goes deeper behind the box and it takes me way too long to get out here, you know, these uh these legend lost sector these legend lost sector champions they actually um they get unstunned really quickly so at this point in time i literally just have to wait for my grenade to get charged again there's nothing i can do about it so i'm just gonna emote and i'm just gonna wait man that's all i can do
Now at this point, we do have the flash bang up, so we're going to throw that at him, preemptively pop our rip. Thankfully, it does stun behind corners. Now, unfortunately, we have no heavy ammo, but fortunately for us, Cold Heart just does some crazy damage. <laughs> so we are just going to take care of that super easily, and now we can proceed to the third unstoppable. Now, in my opinion, this third unstoppable is the easiest of them all because we just have some crazy cover from him, to be honest. Now, at the time, I was completely aware that this Acolyte was here because, you know, I, I remembered that there was one before I left the situation. So we were able to take care of him, and I remembered that there was some special there, so we were able to grab that really easily. Now what I have to do is clear out those Acolytes on the left side because they are going to do some damage to me if I don't because I am just going to take care of this Unstoppable on these stairs. These stairs are a godsend. They make this third ogre so easy to take care of because what you can do is you can just head down the stairs and then he can't do any damage to you. You can just crouch like I'm doing and thankfully my chaos reaches up. I'm able to just shoot that at the unstoppable. That dude is screwed. That dude is dead and everything is blinded. So we definitely take those. I don't know how they're all blinded. I don't know if chaos reach blinds. I don't think it does. I guess that's from my trace and if so that means that that blind effect lasts a really long time. Now, obviously, there's no fragments that extend the duration of blinds, so that really surprised me at the time, and I'm still shocked about it. Now, at this point, what I want to do is just kill as many adds as possible, pick up as much ammo as possible, but we are just going to proceed forward, and what we're going to do is we're going to shoot that last crystal, and then the boss is going to spawn. Definitely don't want to use our heavy. We're going to switch to our auto rifle to shoot it, pop down the rift, and we could just start doing some boss damage. Now... This boss can absolutely fry you. If you stay out of cover for longer than a second, you are dead. Like, it, like he, his time to kill is like 0.8 seconds, man, I swear. And we're gonna have to kill as many adds as possible. We can't just focus down the boss because the thing about these adds is they will just spam fireball grenades and they're literally hackers. They can see exactly where you are, obviously because they're AI, but I don't know why they're coded like that. They should not be able to throw a grenade at you when they physically have no way of knowing where you are. Bungie has to do something about that, in my opinion, because that is kind of insane. But, anyways, yeah, we're just going to clear those guys out because they are a pain with the grenade modifier where they can just spam them. Uh, there is a barrier champion now. We're going to want to take care of this guy. The thing about this barrier, though, is if the boss peaks, we're done. We just lost all that damage on the barrier. Thankfully, though, the boss never peaked. He's just a coward today, so we're able to take care of that barrier champion uncontested apart from the adds who aren't really doing that much damage. And at this point, you know, I figured the boss was going to re-peak. I see that heavy ammo. I want to go grab it so bad because you see we are so low on reserves. Now there is that sniper in the back. I was waiting for him to spawn and you know, I tried to kill him at the beginning, but apparently he only spawns after a certain damage threshold. I didn't actually know that until I did this challenge. So we're going to kill these Acolytes again. Well, first of all, because they're the only thing in our face. But you see, I just had three nades thrown at me in five seconds, you know. So <laughs> we're definitely going to want to take care of those guys. And then we're going to focus down this Sniper because this Sniper can absolutely end our run. I'm going to pop down the Rift because I just want to be super safe. Obviously, he can't one-shot me. But I am worried about him with the combination of these adds. You know, the worry is if I'm focusing down the Sniper... If I'm focusing down the sniper and a fireball gets thrown at me in the same time, obviously I'm not looking at the fireballs when I'm aiming at the snipers, so, you know, we have to play it safe, so that's why I popped the rift down. And you see this boss, oh, what am I doing here? What am I, <laughs> bro, 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 that was so risky at 47 minutes in, dude. Holy, dude, the boss was right in front of us, bro. We're able to get the heavy ammo, so now... We're going to have a way easier time dealing with the boss. Our super is spawned. Now, there is one thing that you guys are going to want to look out for. And, okay, what am I, I... I have to do this, but, dude, this is so risky. Because the thing about double jumping here and just floating is that you fall down so slow. And you remember what I was saying about that time to kill? He can, he can kill you in 0.8 seconds. So, me doing this is, like, the biggest, the biggest please kill me possible because if he is shooting me if he starts shooting me down at the peak of my jump he can kill me you know that's why i'm not 
jumping too hard like I'm canceling the double jump as fast as I can obviously I can go way higher with my double jump so I'm just playing as careful as possible but if this dude isn't gonna peek me then I'm gonna have to do exactly what I just did which is chaos reach in the air now I did hit in those strafes because I wanted to be careful about it now we have hit a certain damage threshold and what that means for us is that these ads will actually push us now if you're unaware of them they can actually completely melt you and you see some of them actually pulled up on me even though I was paying attention I still got snuck up on by two of them so I had to jump off of that position but that's fine that's fine we are just able to get out of there very quickly and now we're, we're trying to kill them because we know that they're aggroed on us they actually looped around I don't know how they did that so fast it's like they teleported but whatever we're able to take care of them and just the night left and we get two bricks of ammo we got heavy and special and at this point I'm feeling so confident the boss is less than half HP he's just camping in the back of the map out in the open and dude we are so close 49 minutes deep into this challenge can we get it done I, I, I feel like I feel like the answer is yes but you know I'm not a prophet even though I am literally from the future I am not a prophet I don't know what's gonna happen here can we get it done what do you guys think I feel like Everyone thinks we can get it done. I mean, <laughs> this boss has done no I'm trying to create suspense here, if you couldn't tell. Um, but, yeah, I, this is super intense. I don't know if we can get it done. Can we get it done? Can we get it done? One clip, two clips of ammo left. We kill the boss. We kill the boss. It's not over, though. Why? Why is it not over, you ask? Because there is going to be a room of ads that are going to spawn. We can't just, again, we can't just run up and go grab the chest or we wipe. It's over. So we have to play safe. We have to toss our rift down. We have to be careful. Clear out this room of ads. And there are two snipers that are going to spawn at the top of the platform. But they just get absolutely fried because we were completely aware that they were going to spawn. We take care of those dudes. We just have a few ads left and the challenge is done. I throw a melee, but it does absolutely no damage. We take those. Just one Nightmare Acolyte left, and we're done, and we just killed everything. The challenge is almost done. All we need to do is go pick up the chest, and we do it, man. We get two Defiant Engrams, an Exotic Engram, a Prism, and two Cores. Was it worth it? I don't know. It depends on how well this video does. <laughs> uh, this was so much fun, guys. Zen's Moon Challenge. I am the first one to complete it, therefore it is named after me. We completed all Moon Lost Sectors without dying once. I don't think we died once, but we only had three lives for the first 15 minutes. We completed this challenge. Now, I would like to see other people attempting this challenge. If you actually leave a link, I will uh, pin it. I'll leave a heart, you know, and I'll, I'll make a pinned comment where I just post everyone's videos because I think this was so much fun. I'd like to see other people attempting it, maybe even on Master Difficulty. So if you guys enjoyed, be sure to subscribe for daily Destiny 2 videos. Either way, I really appreciate you watching, and I'll see you tomorrow for the next video. Peace.